Well, it's been a while. Welcome to this new episode in 2020, the first vlog on Locked In. Thanks for everyone who stayed subscribed. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I'll touch on that in this video, but as the title suggests, I think I found the ultimate lightweight coffee bike rig, all self-contained and very lightweight. So I'm taking a little quick little stroll. I'm gonna make myself a hot cup of coffee to fully test this rig out on the on a ride because so usually when I go ride, we usually stop at a coffee shop. So I figured why not try to develop my own lightweight kit for camping and just for easy road, gravel or mountain rides when you want to hop cup of Joe on the trail. So taking a quick little spin on one of my new rides. This build is going to be on the channel soon. Basically, I just restored this old Trek single track. That had an uh, old Dior XT 7-speed drive turnout with some 10-speed components. Made it one by. I'm really digging it. I'm hoping I can keep it. I may have to sell it, but make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you can see that video when it comes out. I'm already initially really loving it. It rides really smooth and this thing is immaculate for how old it is. Pro tip, uh, when going for a coffee ride, don't forget the coffee grounds that you did and then ride 20 something minutes from home and now have to double back, then go back out again. Just in case you were wondering how to have a successful coffee ride. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, coffee has been acquired. <laughs> oh man. At least it's pretty out. Let's get into what I brought with me. And it's a little bit of an extra setup. I got my wide foot Nalgene bottle for the water I'm gonna boil. So then in my stem bag, I have my GSI ultralight pour over. And this is my titanium locking cook pot setup that I use for bike camping, for bike camping. And I have a full video of this whole setup in the links in the description below, but I did change my stove recently and that's what I'm gonna try out today. And then to put the coffee in, I have my titanium little mug. I actually never really use this when I go camping and so this gives me an excuse to use it. So what I got in here, it's a little koozie but that's just to keep it quiet. This is my new stove which I'll put a link in the description below. It is a GSI stove. I forgot the name of it but I'll put it down in the description. And then my fuel source. I'm gonna see if I actually can fit. I wonder if this all fits in there. Hang on, let's try that first. Ah. Oh just a little a little tall let's see Hang on. so I was gonna have to boil up some water sure might as well better have a little too much than not enough holy crap this is so much more powerful than my little ultralight one. Oh, that's way hotter so let's see how long this takes the one thing that I definitely need to possibly look into is getting like a little shield for around here. Right, because last time I went bike camping, it like basically neutralized the flame. I had to basically just stand in the direction of the wind and use my body to block it. But I may look into get one of those little shields or just cutting up like a tall beer can or something and using that and shoving that in my cook pot. Let me know in the comments below what you guys use. So while this is getting ready to boil, I use my little GSI pour over thing to clip onto my cup, like that, and then we'll pour in our coffee grounds. Sure, let's just do the whole thing. <laughs> All right, this is pretty sick, not gonna lie. I'm really happy with this setup, and it's super, super light. I'll put on the screen right now what it actually weighs in total. That won't be considering, obviously, the Nalgene bottle and the water. I'll do the collective weight of the cup, the filter, the cook pot system that I showed you here, and well, it's starting to steam and it's only been three minutes. So that's pretty good. That seems to be doing a lot better job than my old stove. I guess you don't know until you try something a little nicer. All right, so we got water boiling officially. Oh man, yeah, less than five minutes. That's great. Turn this off. All right, now we got to see if I can, ooh, yeah, that's super hot. Now let's see if I can pour this without spoiling, without spilling boiling hot water on myself. Man, don't judge me for my pour over technique. I used to work at Starbucks like 
10 years ago. Oh yeah. Looks like it's coming out pretty good. I think I got the coarseness pretty close to being right. I think I might have poured a little too much water, so let's see. Oh God, it's gonna overflow. All right, let's see if I can do this and not make a complete mess and burn myself. Oh, ah, God, it's hot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cut it just in time. Just in the nick of time. I guess the excess can go, yeah. The excess will just go into my big pot, so that's not bad. So, this is my setup. What do you think? I'll list everything that I can in the links below. Some of this was purchased from AliExpress, which is mainly just the cook pot and the cup because the titanium stuff on there is a lot cheaper than what you're gonna find on Amazon. And this Boundless Voyager and Winsea brand have been solid for me. I've taken these on a couple of trips. I'm really digging this new GSI stove and this GSI pour over filter. It's worked great. And I think I'll definitely use this on just casual rides. Oh, that's good. Oh, I think I did well. So the only thing I could say is if I could find a, to make it truly perfect, I think if I could find a container that's slightly smaller so that my cup can fit in here, and then I'll just put this obviously in the cup and have it upside down, I think that would be the perfect setup to minimize it just into one singular footprint. This could easily fit in a handlebar bag or a backpack or anything. So that would be the only tweak I would say. But besides that, this is great. It's a beautiful day. I'm loving the new ride. So if that's all you were looking for in this video about finding a great ultralight coffee setup for your bike, this is it. If you wanna stay tuned, I'm gonna talk a briefly about what has been going on in the channel and why it's been so long since I posted a video. So for everyone who hasn't watched a few of the update videos I've had recently, I have had some time off, mainly due to work. I've basically been working full-time at one job and freelancing part-time at another. So I just haven't had many days off. And usually if I get a day off a week, I'm usually kind of relaxing. Sometimes I'll go for a ride, but I just wanted to enjoy it on those days instead of always having to film. And with this new schedule, it's definitely slowed down my riding a lot, which obviously is how I make my content. So it's a lot harder for me to do it. Not saying it's an excuse. I want to pick back up and I'm starting to work on projects to get basically queued up so I can start posting at least once a week again, or maybe every other week. I'm not entirely sure yet. This build video will be coming out on the trek behind me. Obviously you're watching this video and I still am finishing my series of my Cobalt Diablo hardtail build. So there is stuff in the works. Don't think that the channel is completely dead. It's just, I just need to find that happy medium of how I can balance creating content and having time to do it. I'm working on it for sure. And I still love doing it. It's just finding that time and not trying to burn myself out completely where I just don't want to do it anymore. So that's just a little update. I'm enjoying my coffee. I highly suggest highly suggest doing this. If you do this on your next coffee ride, tag me on Instagram. My links for that is in the description below. You can follow me on there. I post on there regularly and you would have seen a sneak peek of this bike way before this video has been out. But that's it for this one. And thanks for watching this episode of Locked In.